Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the Your Daily Prayer podcast. We hope these few moments of prayer and reflection are encouraging to you as you go about your day. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast. To find more prayers, devotional content, and blog posts, we would love for you to join us at iBelieve.com. A Prayer for the Overburdened Written by Pastor David McGee Read by Emily Hall On the third day, we threw the ship's tackle overboard with our own hands. Acts 27, 19 Did you know that ships have a line drawn along the hull to indicate their burden? If the line goes too far beneath the water, the sailors know there is too much cargo on board. This allows the sailors to take the necessary steps to avoid disaster. Wouldn't it be great if we had indicators on us? In Acts 27, Paul, now a prisoner, was taken by ship to Rome, where he and the ship's crew encounter a mighty storm. In danger of shipwreck, the ship's crew threw overboard the cargo they had once considered necessities. Timing and events can really change the way we look at things. We fill our lives with tackle and rigging that is not important to the eternal plan. Often, we get distracted by those things and cling to them rather than to God. We think, oh, I need this, or I just can't live without that. But soon, overburdened, we hit a storm and sink. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, Since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily hinders our progress, and let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. What's in your cargo hold? Are you carrying bitterness? Is there someone you need to forgive? Is your ship laden with shame? Are you hauling around guilt or sin? In Matthew 11, 28 through 30, Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Friend, Why carry burdens around when you don't have to? Won't you lay your burdens at the foot of the cross? Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving me. Please forgive me for my sins and show me the burdens I carry that you want to remove. There may be things I'm not aware of that are distracting me from the best that you have for me. Please show me these things so that I can give them over to you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.